Well, we might be doing a political show if Skype will cooperate. <laughs> I was even wondering why I wear these sunglasses in a dark room. It, it was a fun night last night. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> a little too fun. Definitely Skype, okay. <laughs> I hear you say like a word and I ask you where's your video and then it just... I can't hear you. You can't hear me? No, I can't. Can you hear me now? Yeah, anyway, it, it's Skype, I'm not sure, but it just kind of like throws the call in the middle of it. Yeah, it's what it was doing over here. Really? Will it, will, will it let you turn your video on or... No, it wouldn't. <sighs> Alright, now... Ah, uh, it's trying. Okay, there's something. Alright, got my video. Right there. Uh, yeah, just too much light. Yeah, I don't have the best light here either. <laughs> I'm in a dark room wearing sunglasses. <laughs> That was a, uh, <laughs> yeah, my thought was, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, you know, we have a third that wants us to, s he's never on Skype, he wants us to send him a text message, and I'm trying to do it, and I didn't realize when you're sending a text message through the outside client system, sometimes it wants to know what the carrier is to send the stupid text. And that makes sense, because it have to know what, you know, at to send it to, blah blah, at what carrier, but I didn't think just that. Send it, just send it to the top five. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> we'll send it to Verizon. Send it to Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, what else? Sprint. Uh, what would be the last one? Uh, uh, well, there's T-Mobile. I'm hearing, I'm hearing me echoing through you. What? I'm hearing me echo through your screen. Okay, I've done T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and now I'm going to do Sprint. <laughs> Alright. We'll see if they answer back. Metro PCS might be good too. Yeah, I guess I should do Metro PCS. Hello, hello, hello. Anyway, if you, if you can't get them, there's, you know, no, uh, no, no one can say that you didn't try. Anyway, do you have the thing on? Yeah, I, you should have the message now. Uh, do you not have the share message? Okay, let me see. Yep. Let me see. Is that what you're calling it? Political? I, I, I don't know what we're going to call it. I just made that for a note. The names of the show notes have nothing to do with the names of the shows anymore. They're just notes for notes sake. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. If he shows up, he shows up. If not, uh, I'll have to find a different um, messenger. I don't. I'm not even getting confirmation of whether these are going through or not. So, okay. You want to give him like five minutes or see if he responds. Zygeist. It's our resident Zygeist. We haven't actually had him on any shows yet. He's a, he's a believer of the Zygeist movement. Yeah. So, um, you don't think that a recount should be done in Maine? I know that, that no, that, that's not what I'm saying at all. There, I I'm just it, it, it's it, it's the same crap that was going on the other. You know, it okay. Another election, another recount cycle, and here we go again. Part of what causes this is that the press and the media call stuff before all the precincts or all the areas have voted and all the votes have been counted. They're like, it looks like this is the winner. And, the, and rather than say, it's looking like Yadi is the winner, they're like, okay, new story, move on. Yadi Yah won! Uh, and sometimes they're wrong. And then it's like, okay, it's like, uh, basically, from what I was writing in there, there's a couple of areas that technically hadn't voted yet when that was called and so on. So it, it's, you know, the reported result isn't necessarily what the official result's going to be. And that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with recounting. I, 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 I have... It, it's, about, it's about counting the rest of them. I mean, yeah. I, and um, Ron Paul was like, within like 200 votes of Mitt Romney and when they were first counting he was ahead and they kept you know getting closer to each other so the end you know the last few uh, counties might yeah yeah no it could it could make it a Ron Paul victory and, and, and it's like I said the last few counties haven't been counted yet the votes haven't been in that's like it, it, the, I'm sorry those delegate seats have not been awarded yet the yeah. <laughs> It, 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 what it, it's being presented as like a recount story. No, it's the media called it before all the votes are in. <laughs> and as the votes come in, we're like, um, maybe we called the wrong guy. Okay, a recount story. It's like, no, you guys called the wrong thing. Maybe. <laughs> and that's, that's the confusing thing, actually, about our electoral thing. It, it takes forever to count some of these places. I mean, it... it the reality is, you sometimes don't know till days after who actually won, and we want to know like that night. <laughs> we're, we're very impatient in the U.S. <laughs> we're like, no, oh, I want an answer now. We haven't counted 100% of it. Answer now. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, they they hire some pretty good statisticians to to test out, you know. I, I, generally they can be right with only like 8% reporting or so uh, yes but until you have enough of the votes counted that even if every other vote outstanding can't tip the balance until that point you don't know no you know right. statisticians can like they can be right 95% of the time there's always that time where they're not right yeah. <laughs> It, and this is like nine times out of ten when you're hearing about a recount thing or a vote different than reported one or yada. That's what it is. They made a guess before all the data was in, and their guess was wrong. <laughs> and what's really sad about that is there's a lot of times where uh, candidates are like conceding based on these guess summations because they think the 
and they like find out later they would have won and they didn't have to concede. And it's, it's just it's. I don't think anybody's conceding or anything right now. It's just it's funny. It's. I am really hoping this election can avoid the recount stigma. I mean, ever since Al Gore, I think every election in the U.S. has had a recount something. <laughs> You, you would think the press would, would learn. Stop reporting till you have all the data. Don't do it. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not. I mean, it, it's like if I had a reporting thing, I would try to report a few minutes before the rest and hope that I'm right. That, that, that's that what it is. They're, they're trying to be first to call it right. And as a result, we're getting more and more of them calling it wrong. There's like this rush to be 30 seconds ahead of the other person. Uh, and um, th it's one of the few things where uh, being first and being Start right. Here, so. say, say what? Did we start already or is this all off the, off the record? Uh, the recording's running. Uh, it's, it's looking like they're not going to show up, so because right. I'm not seeing them on on Skype, so I don't know what to. Yeah. Oh well. Right. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah we, we've got. I mean, what, what's your opinion on that crap? Um. Well, they should. I mean, I'm okay with them. Should uh, you know, using some statistics and group sampling to. Yell out the winner first, but I of course don't think that that doesn't mean that you should count the rest. I mean, you should always count to 100% and see, especially when it is so close. Because I mean, there's a lot more than 200 votes left, and if they're so close together, then you know it matters a lot which one might win. I, I th that's news to me. I didn't know anybody was even remotely talking about not counting them, even when the media well, goes. No, I mean. No, no. Uh, it, it's just the fact that we're like calling out a winner without really counting the rest of the votes. It's not, you know, about a recount. I mean, I'm sure that they will count the rest, although I don't know. No, uh, they're, they're going to. In fact, they're pointing out it's like some of these votes won't even be in till blah blah, and some of them haven't actually been cast yet, because the following thing's going to vote on day, yada yada. <laughs> but, anyway, so, you know, we don't know exactly who won yet, and so that matters. Well, I'm like, looking at this, let me see, how many votes is that actually worth? Um, let me see. Yeah. Right, say so right now it's 10 points for Paul, 12 points for Romney for Maine. Versus it would be if he won, maybe 12 points for Paul, 10 for Romney. Right. It's about a two point standing. So, yeah. Well, that's enough to. I, I, I know. Yeah. And well, I mean, it is still very, very close to the race. Or, that's the thing I was going to ask. Do you, do you want to go into that? Because everybody's trying to make... I mean, it, okay, there's two ways to look at the Republican nomination process right now. You can look at the fact that Romney has 123 votes and Santorum has 72 and Gingrich has 32 and Paul has his little 19. And, you know, if you look at it that way, well, it's clearly Romney versus Santorum. But that's bullshit. Yeah. Because they're to to win, you need a little over a a little over eleven hundred votes, and there's over two thousand votes outstanding. Yeah. So I I mean to put it another way, okay, Romney needs forty four percent of everything outstanding, and the worst guy off, Paul needs 49%. There is a l less than 5% difference. I mean, basically, everybody needs half of what still hasn't been gotten yet. <laughs> That's, 
I mean, one swing state and the leaders will change. Literally. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, so far the states they've been voting on have been more southern, and it's possible that the, that, that the states that are more northern will be less conservative. I mean, so that may be bad for Santorum and uh, possibly the rest, but th- there's there's a difference in what other what, what the states tend to vote on. Yeah. So... Uh, it'll it, be interesting. I mean, what does? Let me see here. What what are the dates for these? Because I only keep. I mean, I don't keep up with the dates for every single place. Because I mean, you only really keep up with your local one. But let me see. When does this hoopla end? We get to. Most of them get out of the way in March. I, I, actually, I have a feeling it's going to come down to your state. Believe it or not. Because the two big point states are Texas and California. Uh, 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, both of them are over 150 each. Um, How much is New York? New York. New York's only 95. Yeah, California, I think, is the biggest. We have the most popular. Yeah. Yeah. Is California a winner take all or is it split? I think it's winner take all. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, whoever is still in the running come June fifth is going to be spending a lot of time in California. <laughs> oh, I thought we. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought we had bad political ads. Oh, you guys aren't going to be able. Here they go. Shut up. <laughs> You guys are just going to be screaming, shut up, and everything. The radio, the TV, the shot. It's, jeez. I know that Santorum and Gingrich are going to do badly in California, but, um, you know, people might like Romney here. So. Um, well, and it's going to depend how the things are shaking up there. Why it's the largest thing, it is only 170 some odd points. So, if by then it's like a 50 point game they don't they care but they're like oh there's plenty of other places I can get it from <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see what happens it's not like you're as tired as me man <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not really used to getting up quite this early well, you're right in it do it this early cause you can't do anything I know but <laughs> um, you know I don't know, maybe, maybe like, nine would be better in the future, but I don't know. Um, and anyway, it's, it's fine for me since I'm, I'm getting up for school earlier than this normally. Yeah, it's like, what's one more day? <laughs>